It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I went into Morrison's, my local supermarket, and picked up two boxes of the 330 milliliter beers. I picked up a pack of Vocation, Divide and Conquer, New England Pale, and I picked up a box of Northern Monk Uprising, India Pale Ale, 6% ABV. Uh, look out for that review. That'll be coming in the next kind of day or so, or if you're watching this in years in the future, just look for Northern Monk Uprising IPA and you'll find it on our channel or on YouTube. Uh, but the reason why I mention all of this is because the boxes were two for £10 as of April 2022. Two boxes for a tenner. I think that's great value for money. Uh, four of the Northern Monk beers are 6% ABV. Uh, four of the Vocation, Divide and Conquer, New England Pale, 5% ABV. Decent sounding stuff. Now, I was quite surprised because I was in Morrison's and I picked this up and I thought, I haven't reviewed this and is it a new beer? But it turns out this beer has been out for years and I've missed it somehow. Anyway, so let's rectify that. Let's get it out into a glass. See what we get. Vocation Brewery. So we have a three to four finger white head at slow moving carbonation, hazy straw coloured beer. Here we go. Looks pretty good. Hazy Pale Ale is doing exactly what it says on the box or on the tin, whichever way you buy it. I'm not sure if you can buy it individually uh, in cans. It, it, it wasn't in Morrison's in an individual can. I had to buy a box. I'm okay with that, though. I'm about to go camping in a bell tent. So I've got six cans of lovely beer to pack in my cooler box when I leave tomorrow. And uh, yeah... As soon as I arrive, you know, as soon as I park that car up, I'm straight out of the car, dump everything out the blooming. We got one of those roof box things and I dump everything off the roof box. Make sure the wife and kids are happy and then it's, you know, first beer of the day <laughs> type of thing. Right, all the beers in the glass. So you can see now um, a good representation of the beer. It didn't get any hazier, really, did it? Um, nice head on it, though. Um, aroma. It's quite tropical. Exactly what I would expect. It's, these these beers these days, these kind of New England pails, these New England IPAs, especially when you get them from the supermarket, it all seems a bit controlled. It all seems a bit... Right, we know what we're doing. We know what to do with this. Um, we know what people like. Uh, we know the amount of hops that we're going to put in it, the amount of malt, um, the, the types of malt. It's all very controlled these days. This is exactly what I'd be expecting from a supermarket pale ale. Tropical, fruity, pineapple, tin pineapple, a little bit of grapefruit, orange peel. A little bit of spiciness, pepperiness. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, they, um, there is a difference. There will, I think there'll always be a difference. It's almost like they're offering you something. They're offering you a certain kind of level of quality beer, which they've had a lot of practice in making for the supermarket shopper. It's almost like a kind of tantalising taste, a tantalising toe dip into the world of craft beer. It's very nice, don't get me wrong. It's a very nice beer. Passion fruit, mango... Tin pineapple, a little bit of grapefruit flavour.
but it gives and gives and gives and then it stops. Then it stops giving. And, and that's, the, that's the kind of the value of the beer. Um, so let's do the maths then. Um, four cans. Work that out as five pound a box. That's one pound twenty-five. One pound twenty-five a can. By my reckoning, one pound twenty-five a can. That's about that's about kind of right in terms of price um, and my mathematics. So it's rather cheap, isn't it? To be able to produce a beer at one pound twenty-five a can, you're talking about like. I did an Aldi video recently about the fake brew dog beers that they've got in there. And they were diabolical. The, the Aldi craft beer is diabolical. And it's a very similar price. There's like five pence in it. You pay £1.20 in Aldi. You pay £1.25 in Morrison's. But this is clearly, clearly different beer. But there's another level. Of course there's another level. You can go to your bottle shop. And when I said it's given, it's given, it's given, then it stops... Um, bottle shop beer is like the, 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 the gift that keeps on giving. So you, you, you buy a beer for four, five, maybe six, maybe seven pound, double IPA, IPA. Even even a really good pale ale will set you back three, maybe four pound if you're buying something from Daya, something like that. But it carries on with the flavour. The flavour kind of just rolls and rolls and rolls and rolls for a long time. Where Whereas where this beer... It gives and gives and then just kind of stops and it kind of just tails off. I'm fine with that. I mean, give give me the, 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 the beer at £1.25 a can as long as it's tasting like this and 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 get my set of bowls out and uh, when we go... That sounded terrible. Um, <laughs> we, we, you know them cheap colourful bowls with the little jack? That's what we do. We pour some beer. We like to barbecue. I play with the kids for hours upon end, throwing the coloured balls and trying to get the you know balls, French balls. But I can't kind of I can't spend my attention span is not great unless I got a beer in my hand. Um, if the sun's shining, I've got a beer in my hand and I'm playing balls with the kids, the wife and kids, and then then fine, I can I can do that for hours on end. And this is kind of like the perfect beer for that. You don't got to think about it too much. It's refreshing, it's juicy, it's drinkable. And that's what most people want. That's what most people want from their beer. Bit of flavour. A decent, solid, well-drinking beer. It's very refreshing. Nicely carbonated. A little bit sweet, I would say. There's a little bit of sweetness in there coming through. But it's decent. Now, now, I know some of the reviews, because I had a look on YouTube, um, some of the reviews here from years ago from um, Divide and Conquer, and probably before they put them in boxes and sent them off to the supermarkets, it was probably kind of individual beer you bought, either from Vocation or from a bottle shop. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm wondering on quality here, um, whether, the, whether the beer was slightly different, say, four or five years ago. But yeah, pretty decent. I mean, pretty decent stuff. What does the brewer say on the back of the can? Uh, Divide and conquer character. Uh, this strong will always split opinion. Uh, fearlessly hop forward. New England pale is, a smooth, is as smooth as it is striking. And never one to be underestimated. Expect dramatic waves of juiciness and a haze that won't quit. Juicy, hazy, fruity. Brace yourself for a charge of mosaic and Simcoe, delivering notes of pineapple, passion fruit, and pine. Simcoe and mosaic. Um, your beer, our vocation. Look, I'm one pound twenty-five a can. It's fantastic value for money in this day and age. This twenty twenty-two, the year of all the price rises and everything going up through the roof. To be able to drink a New England pale as well behaved as this beer is in this day and age is quite frankly remarkable um i've i've paid three four i mean if you go to a like my independent bar where i drink at of course you got all the taxes and everything else on top of that 
but you go to my local bar and you'll 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 buy a a third two thirds of of something and it'll cost you four or five pounds so um to get something of this value from a supermarket yeah i mean it's pretty decent in terms of price i'm gonna rate it for the money it's tremendous tremendous um if i could if i could kind of slightly change it a little bit i would roll back the sweetness maybe a touch it's a little bit too sweet it's a little bit kind of leaning towards being too sweet for me but other than that it's a great beer for the price i like it enough to give it a stone the crows nine out of ten nine out of ten from real L craft beer i'm giving that nine out of ten because there's a big reflection on price for this i mean you can either go to Aldi and ruin your day buying their craft beer, or you can go to Morrison's and buy this for five pence a can more. It is night and day quality, night and day. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.